Hey guys, it's Seb from Noble Frugal Studio. In this tutorial series, I'm gonna teach you how to use Demo Creator, a simplified video editor and screen recorder made to help you share your knowledge. This video is sponsored by Wondershare, so without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna focus on the screen recording features of Demo Creator. Then after we get done recording what we wanted, we can go into the video editor and I'll show you those features in a future video. So when you open Demo Creator, you'll be presented with a screen like this. Your recent projects will be here on the right and you also have the choice between a new recording or the video editor features in Demo Creator. Let's hit new recording. Okay, so it just took us to the recording screen. Now before we do anything here and before I get into any of these tools, we're gonna go to this recording box and hit the little gear. These will be the settings for your recording. And now guys, I've been recording for a long time. I've been on YouTube on this channel for about five years and on two other channels before that. I've been recording for a very long time. And one tip I can give you is that you have to have your settings correct before you start recording. Always check your settings, double check your settings. It's very, very important. The first tab is the screen section and it lets us pick whether we want to record our screen or record a game. So if we wanted to record a game, we'd have the game open and we'd hit this choose game tab. But if we want to record our screen, we'd have this little box checked and we'd set our frame rate. 30 FPS is fine, but if you want to record at 60 FPS or 120, you can as well. Okay, these settings look good, let's go on. I'm gonna head to the audio section. If you're capturing a game, you're gonna wanna capture your computer audio and your microphone so you can get the sounds of the game and your commentary in the same video. I'm not recording a game at the moment, so I just need my microphone. I'm gonna hit Yeti microphone from the drop down menu. Let's go to our camera. Now I don't have a webcam attached to this computer, but if you do, click this drop down menu and select your webcam. It also accepts the OBS virtual camera. And these are the settings for your webcam down here. Now let's go to advanced. Make sure you set the correct directory for where you want your recordings to land. Say it's your videos folder, hit this drop down menu, and then it'll open a browser where you can navigate to the folder where you wanna find the recordings that you made after you're done recording. If you want the recording panel to be hidden while you're recording, check this box that says auto hide controls when recording. And I'll quickly show you what that does. So let's just go back quickly. And when we hit record, we'll get a countdown and then the box will disappear. That way, if you don't want the box showing up, you can check that box and it'll disappear while you're recording. You can also set some encoding settings. I'm gonna leave them at the default right now. And it also displays the shortcuts for the video recording feature. So start and stop is F10. Pause and resume is F9, full screen is F8. To add a marker in your recording while you're recording, um, you can add a marker and it'll show up in the video editor. It's Control M. Screen drawing is, is Shift Control D and Spotlight is Shift Control F. All right, once we're done with our settings and we like what we have, just hit capture to get back to this screen. There's another way we can make this recording panel more discreet in Demo Creator. If you hit this mini panel icon right here, it'll minimize the panel to just the essentials. So we can put that somewhere off to the side of our screen, open up our viewer and hit record and our viewers won't see it, but we can still have the same control as before. So our mic volume will show up here. And as you can see, as I talk, it's showing the levels of my mic and that looks good. Our webcam will show up here, the name of our webcam and whether our system audio is on or off will show up on the bottom right right here. Now that we have all our settings down, let's find something to record. All right, so I pulled up this OpenTunes file of a GIF that I made for my Discord channel. So now we have to set the size of what we want to record. So we have a few options. We have full screen, which will record everything. And we have set custom size later, which will make the window this size and you can move it around and such. And we also have select a target window later. You can just select a target window. So that one worked best for me and that's what I'm gonna go with. So before we hit record, let's make sure that we have the screen drawing tool checked. To toggle it on and off, you can also hit shift control D. Okay, now that we're ready, let's hit record. So we'll get a countdown and now we are recording. So what we can do while we're recording is a few really cool things. If we need to take a break, take a sip of water, we can pause the recording. And so we stop recording. As you can see, my background is still going. Nothing's really changed here and we can continue it when we want, so we can hit play. And once we hit play, the timer will keep going. So say we messed up a lot, maybe we were doing our intro like, hey guys, it's set. Hey guys, it's Sebastian here. Hey guys, and you just keep messing up and you need to restart. 
you can hit this button to delete the entire recording and re-record it. So let's hit that. So we can hit yes, it'll ask you, are you sure? And it'll restart the recording and you'll get another countdown. That actually happens a lot when I record. That's a pretty useful feature. And finally, you can hit this button to add a marker in your recording so you can notify yourself of something in the video editor. You can also hit Control M to do the same thing. Okay, with that done, let's go over the screen drawing features. So first we have the cursor tool, which is just your regular mouse tool. And I'm looking up here, if you don't know, looking at this hot bar right here. Next, we have the spotlight tool. You just click it. And then when you click on something, it'll add this circle that spotlights whatever you, wherever your cursor is. If I wanted my audience to pay attention to this bar above the style editor, I just use the spotlight tool to bring their attention there. Then we also have the drawing tool. So when you select it, it'll ask you what color you want, what size you want. I'm gonna select a large size and let's do blue. And then we can draw on top of our screen recording. So say I want to point out the colors tab, the color palette, so you can just circle that over there. Next we have the highlighter. I wanna put this at the max size as well. We're gonna highlight something in yellow. That sounds good. And if you wanna, it's good for highlighting text. Say I want to highlight the frame numbers down here, I can do that. Next we have the text tool. So if you don't have a mic, um, you can probably just put some large text on the screen. Just click away and you can add as much text as you like. I'll probably put something in here. I'll just put circles. <laughs> Before we move on, say you've drawn a bunch of stuff and you got all these things down here, um, all these highlighted things. You can even highlight the text you put and you wanna get rid of it all. All you gotta do is come over to this brush and click it and then everything will clear. If you draw something and you wanna undo it, just hit Control Z. Next we have the circle tool. So you don't have to draw a circle each time, it'll just have an automatic circle generated for you. Just click and drag. Next we have the square tool, which is good for highlighting boxes or things like tabs in your software. Make that tad bit smaller like that. If I wanted to highlight the file menu, say I'm taking a screenshot, you can do that easily. Next we have the arrow tool, one of my favorite tools. All you have to do is just click and drag and then the arrow will be created pointing at wherever you drag to. I really like this tool. I think it'll be really useful for a lot of people in the graphic design area, um, pointing out line relationships and tangents and such. It's gonna be very, very useful. And next we have the line tool. If I was a teacher and I was discussing a certain angle, I'd be able to just use the line tool. Something like this. Ninety degrees. You also have undo and redo keys right here. So I can redo that whole thing and then undo it if I wanted to. We also have the same controls that we have down here. We have on this menu, so we can pause the recording if we like, and then hit play as well. Very very useful. So let's stop the recording, and then once we do, it's going to automatically open up the demo creator video editor. And it's also going to import the media that we just recorded into the timeline and into the editor so we can get to work on editing it. All right, that's it for this tutorial. In this tutorial, we discuss how to use the screen recorder and demo creator. And in my next tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to set up the editor so you can get to work editing with the right settings. Thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.